Hello everyone! Today we are going to take a look at date functions. Um, so there's quite a few of these so we'll just move over them fairly quickly. Um, and we're just going to start with get date. So to find out the current date and time we can just write here select get date. And if I just run that here um, that will give us the current date and time. So that's a pretty useful one to know, as a, as I'm sure you can imagine. Um, if we wanted to pick out um, like the day out of that, for example, um, then we'd just use date part. Now, we'll put a bracket here and we'll just say day. Um, and then I'll just use get date again, just because it's easier. Um, and that will give us the date part of get date. Um, obviously I can um, pick a day as well, um, sorry I can put a proper date in there as well rather than just uh, get date. Um, we can see there I put in the 1st of Jan, um, we'll use get date for most of these. Um, I can change this to month here and um, obviously I can always put year as well. So we can see that one there. Now, another way of doing this, um, the same way as date part, I mean, is to say, um, like, select year, oh, if I can type, and then we'll just do get date again there. Um, and I can also do month and also day as well. So that's pretty much the same as these. I don't actually know if there's a difference between the two. If anyone does know, uh, please tell me, that'd be great. <laughs> Save me googling it. Um, another useful one is end of month. So this one's awesome for like reporting and things. So we just write end of month. Um, um, oh, I can't use get date because it is the end of the month today. It's Halloween. Yay. Um, let's use the um, 1st of Jan again there. So that will tell us there that the uh, last day in January is the 31st. Um, if I just move that to February, you can see there um, how this works, which is pretty handy, right? Um, uh, what's next? Uh, date add. Let's have a look at that. So, like, if you wanted to increment a date by, like, a certain number of days, months, or years, or whatever, um, then you can do select date add. And then the first part is the um, oh, the interval there, like it says that's day, month, um, year, minute, hour, you know, whatever. Um, we'll just say day for now. Um, and then if we add five days onto get date, we can see here that that's saying the 5th of November is five days from now. Um, you could also change that to minus um, and... Obviously, you can put a proper date in there as well, rather than using get date um, there, which is cool. Um, we can also use this for month there, um, year, and hour, minute, <laughs> etc., etc. Um, date diff, yes. Select date diff. So if we wanted to find out the difference between two dates, though this one is really handy, um, again we can use day, month, year, hour, whatever, um, and we put in the first date, let's just nick the 1st of January from here because that's pretty handy if I've already written it. Um, so we can have a look there, the amount of days between, actually February, between the 1st of February and now. Um, if I change that back to January, we can see we're on day 303 of the year. Um, I can put this as month there, um, and also as year if I change this to like um, 2016. Um, and it'll tell us there two years. Oh, and one thing to note actually with um, date diff is that it's not precise. Um, down to like the day for example so if we were looking here for year and um, if we use the 1st of December um, 2016 which as we know from looking at the date it's the 31st of October today 2018 um, 
we we know that that's not quite two years um, but because we've asked for the year difference equal we'll still say two for this um, which is wrong to us as people <laughs> we know that it's not quite a year yet that is something really to be aware of um, so if you wanted to figure out like the year difference you're better off doing it by day there um, and then divide by 365 um, that will give you there the fact that it is only one year so far um, yeah so I hope that that was useful and um, if you enjoyed this tutorial please like and subscribe to our channel and feel free to add any comments below and um, the next tutorial in this series we're going to look at um, char index and pat index so thank you for watching